So yeah, this is called dinuguan, which is uh, which is good. <laughs> Especially, they say, you know, after you smoke some weed <laughs> and the appetite, you wouldn't notice it's uh, it's blood. It tastes better when you chunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding him. <laughs> what up, YouTube? This is Hatar, Ray Tarchi in the building with another Grammy Kitchen. Bam! So, we got a rainbow here, about to start off the secret dish. Alright, so you need to fill up your pot with water and put some salt, three quarter. Three quarters of the way, and uh, this is some pork belly here. We just got a chim hour. Oh, look, nice. he has a pimple. Yeah. All right, this goes in. Splash. 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 And Jonas, see. Jonah, let me see. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Good. Okay, this Ew. is this is pig ears. They clean the earwax and everything. That's good, is because and we don't want to have you Yeah, okay, I'm putting it in. Stop playing with the food. Boom. Pretty nasty. So we're going to let this cook for 45 minutes. Then we're going to take it out, dice it up. We'll be back, so stay tuned. Whoa. Okay, we need one medium-sized onion sliced. Patrick didn't get it. Ew. And uh, <laughs> and three cloves of garlic. And I can't open it. Ah. Fail. I got it. Shut up. We're going to put them like this. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Want to see a trick I learned from Maddie Matheson? Ooh, all over the floor now. <laughs> yep, grimy kitchen. <laughs> Literally grimy. In this. Uh, by the way, uh, I didn't go to cooking school. Uh, basically, I worked at the casual sport for two months, and that's all my experience. <laughs> Alright, so there goes the one onion and garlic, and uh, basically, my dad told me to. Put that in there for some flavor because we're gonna make that into a what broth? Shazam! Adding just like uh, I don't know. Some Baileys. Some Baileys. Add a little more flavor to the broth. Because bar. we like Baileys. Baileys are are high in fiber and calcium. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, we boil the meat. How long? I don't know. How long have you been boiling? <laughs> Not even 10 minutes. Whatever. But you, you're the one that soften it too much. Just boil it to let it start cooking. But maybe you're gonna cook it halfway. And you can see. See that one piece of ears, that's it? And what is this part? Pork belly. Pork belly, yeah, that's the best for the Nagoan boy. So now we boil it. Now we have the stock here. I told Raymond to put some onions here. See that? There's onions, there's garlic. So now we have the basic stock because we're gonna use that for the Nagoan as well. Right? But the main component of this is vinegar and uh, the blood. Where's the blood, Leo? I want to see the blood. Oh, I can't stand it. I want to suck the blood. <laughs> you people will learn how to eat blood. And it's quite disgusting, but once it's cooked, it's the best. We like <laughs> eating blood. We're vampires. Filipinos are vampires. Yeah? I'm just kidding, yo. Please. What up, blood? You see that blood? <laughs> this is a pork blood. I don't know if it's real pork blood or chicken blood or whatever. Where? But it says blood. See, dugo means blood in Filipino, yo. <laughs> it even came from Pampanga from Philippines. So, if you want to order blood, call Philippines. <laughs> here, here. Let me just show you how it looks like. Ah, it's a blood. Bamba blood. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm putting this blood here and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of vinegar, a parley so that it won't curdle. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking frozen, yeah? Like Why are you swearing at that? Oh, I, did I swear? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> ah, uh, yo, man. Where's the phone? Yo, look at his hands! See how frozen it is? Put some on your face, put some oh, on your face. <laughs> What's with the vinegar? <laughs> yeah, I just killed. Okay, just pour it. Pour some. Maybe we have a Just to put more, put more. Huh? Okay, enough. And with that, I'm also gonna put a little salt. 
Again, it will help it not to curdle, and it will help to defrost it, and to preserve the blood. Because you want to make sure that blood is not going to poison us. You don't want bacteria in there, so I'm trying to kill it, but you don't want to die anyway. So, that's the blood. That's the main component of dinuguan. You don't have blood, no dinuguan. All right, my kababayan. I just want to show you the ingredients of this dinoguan shit. I mean, food. <laughs> I found in my freezer some pork liver, which apparently we should be adding it there. So I'm going to use it. I have it in the freezer, why not? Sayori, a lot of people are against it, but I'm using it anyway. Why? Because I feel like it. Freedom, you know. I always put it. Some people say, don't it's put it. Yeah. Put everything, put whatever you have in the fridge, but just make sure you know what is it, so it, it will complement your food, you know? So I have garlic, onion, some chili. You need chili in Dinagwan. I have a little bay leaf there, salt and pepper, and of course, the sneaking blood. It's defrosting right now. I'm gonna start chopping them, and then we're gonna put it all together. Very important note. Remember I put my meat here? Never that you're gonna cut vegetable once you start cutting meat again. Because you're gonna have this thing called cross contamination, baby. I learned it from school, that's what they said. So, you see, you see all those blood, man? Those are actually bacteria, so I'm gonna wash this so I don't cross contaminate. Very important thing to note. Cut down in half, slice them. Not all the way through. Now see this trick? You slice them on the other end and then slice on top like that. Now you have this thing called brunoise. Yeah. En français c'est brunoise. You see that? Brunoise is just cube, cube, cube freaking onions, you see? I cube it that fast. You see? You wanna see how fast I it? This is how you do it when you're in the kitchen. See? When you use your knife, you have to do it in a sliding motion, not chopping like this. Sliding motion, man. See how easy it is? And it's safe. And I have to tell you, the way to hold the knife is, you gotta secure it. Don't just hold it like this, uh, that's gay. <laughs> so you hold it like this. Uh, so it's nice and secure, and you won't cut your freaking self. First rule in the kitchen, respect the knife. It's sharp, look, it's gonna kill you. So, let's make sure you always have that respect, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Sayori, there's a lot of way you could do this. You could peel it, which is the easy way like that, you know. Or, if I want to show up a little bit, then I'll do it like the chef thing, you know. Like, doing it like, normally chef would do it like this, like me. So, there's different ways of peeling it. But I would peel it like this. It's easy. Why kill yourself? So, that's it. That's how you do sayore anyway. And the chili, of course, nothing to it, you know, leave it whole. There. Garlic. A little tip for doing garlic. The best way to peel it is to take out those bulbs, separate them from, from them, and this is the best. You have to bang it. <laughs> bang it, you know, flatten it. And you see how easy it peels? That's one technique of peeling garlic. You don't cut it or anything, just bang it first and it will loosen up by itself. You bang it, it becomes loose. <laughs> That's the way it is. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Yo, you want to eat this? Or if you're okay with that, you see it. The bigger one's crust. Make it them big. I like it when it's bigger. Ew. Alright yo. Okay guys, I just wanna show you the slices that I'm doing and cutting of all this meat. I'm trying to cut it as much as possible all the same size. You see that? Square and this two, you know? 
Because you don't want to have it this big and then you have this, this size. Who's in the background? That's my brother. <laughs> This is why uh, you can see everything is sort of same cut, okay? So when you cook it together, nothing will be left alone, like, they will all cook at the same time, you know? They will all come at the same time, baby. I mean, come to into cooking, and that's what I mean. So, okay. you bang the garlic, you cook it, and then it's gonna come to whatever it is. There you go. Dino, go on. <laughs> Now it's uh, starting to melt down. What up, blood? Come on, be careful. Because it, it vibrates in my phone. I like this song. I need to stop running back to you. Check, Jonah. All right. We're back to the future. Nah. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm gonna start to saute this. So you see the garlic, onions there, and the meat. It's pretty straightforward doing the grand First, you put your garlic. Now, I'm gonna add the onion. A word about sauteing, it's important to know that when you're sauteing, focus on this, you need high heat, you know, method of sauteing means you're gonna cook something with high heat, right, Chinese people are doing that, that's why they saute, they marinate, they cut the meat in all same sizes because when they saute it, they blast it, you know, like really, really high heat. Ice breath. And, and that's just, uh, Cafe walk. that's why we got a good Chinese food result because of that high heat and all, but that's our method of cooking, saute. The onions is there, you see, it's, it's, it has to be translucent, and I'm gonna saute it for at least one to two, two, three minutes because I want all the flavor of all these onions and garlic to come out so that when I incorporate this meat they will all blend to it like you know they're gonna get married or something you know so before I incorporate this I want to make sure that all the flavor there don't worry about killing it because really all you want from these babies are flavor so flavor of the onions flavor of the garlic so don't be afraid to let, let it cook, man. Okay, be patient. It takes patience, you know? It's like you're courting a girl, and first she doesn't want to, but she'll give in eventually. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta make it really, really good. Mix it, make it hot. Now I'm gonna incorporate the meat, you see that? Do you hear the season? Yeah, you gotta hear that season. Because if not, that means you're in very low heat and you're not gonna have the same result. You want to brown this meat. Then I'm gonna saute this for a while as well. I really want all the flavor of the garlic and the onions and I'm gonna season it as well. So it's almost like I'm finishing the cooking by sauteing it, but not really. Because Dino Guan is a process. You just have to follow the right way and technique of cooking it and you're always gonna have a good result with it. All right, now I'm sauteing the pork. Now I need the vinegar. Assistant, pass me the thing there. Vinegar. One thing about the vinegar, this is called suka. In the Philippines, this is this is what we cook all the time. Really. Suka, vinegar, it's fermented. So you want to buy this, go to Kim Park. We use a lot of vinegar in Filipino cooking. Now we know how to handle it, so. It's not like we're gonna, I'm gonna add this here and it's gonna be sour, no. It's a technique of cooking it, right? So I'm making all that meat brown first. Okay, let's cut on that. Let it cook first. And then we're gonna do another set. Alright, you see 
See now? I'm sauteing it, I'm mixing it. Oh, by the way, when you're sauteing, you have to continuously stir your food. It's one of the techniques that you... Re when you're sauteing, you don't just leave it like that and watch it. You have to keep so you have to keep mixing it. Why? Because you have a high heat there. See that? That's fucking hot, yo. If you have all that heat and you're not stirring it, then you're gonna burn your meat. It's common sense, really. Don't burn your meat. That's what it is. You're sauteing, high heat, you continuously mix it. A little salt, you see that white powder shit? You should do the <laughs> salt bay. It's so <laughs> It's a scene. A sin in the Filipino language. It's not a sin, it's salt. <laughs> oh, I'm not a sinner, okay? <laughs> He's laughing. Yeah! Here's the pepper. <laughs> oh shit, I'm supposed to. Oh, okay. That's matter. Same shit. Yo, in cooking, don't be afra afraid to make mistakes, you know? You learn from making mistakes. If it's too sour, because it's too much. Yeah. It's too salty because you put too much salt. So try to control your salt. You can always add salt in the end. But you want to put salt there because you want to season it. You want that saltiness to go in the meat so the flavor is accumulating it. What we're doing is really is putting all the flavor here and just trying to concentrate the flavor, you know? Cooking is all about flavor. And that's what it is. Now, this is a very important technique and step in the Nguan. I am now gonna put the vinegar. You see that baby? It's gonna calm down the meat. Yeah. Now, at this point, this is where the steering stops. Yeah. Alright? You're not gonna steer it all the way. I have put the vinegar on it, and if I steer it, it's gonna ruin the vinegar. For some reason, there's some chemical shit going on that you just let the vinegar sit. I am now reducing it to the point that I'm all. I won't almost see the vinegar there and trust me the result of that man is amazing that vinegar will turn into sweet it will take out the sourness of it it will cook it properly and it's just one technique that you have to follow you can't fuck around with it <laughs> you're gonna have to let it reduce by itself this is the time that you're just gonna say okay baby you're on your own and this and maybe I'm gonna put it a little lower medium high there you know to put things in control, but it's almost done, man. That, that's what Dinuguan is, you know. You can just leave it there once you did the process, it's really easy. We're back in motion here. Look, you see that? You could actually hear it popping and all that. Man. You see, the vinegar has almost disappeared there. What you see now there is nice oil and fat and flavor and cholesterol and whatever. <laughs> so, see that? Getting there, baby. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Why not? I'm layering the flavor, so I want every process to absorb that salt in there. All right, now at this point, check this out. Now I'm adding it. <laughs> you see, this is a happy cooking session. I have dancers, I have performers. The only missing is stripper. Next time we're gonna get a stripper. <laughs> okay, check this out, boy. Concentrate on this. Uh, I'm putting the liquid now. You see? Remember before, focus here. When I boil it and then I saw told Remy to put uh, onions and garlic on it, it's because I don't want it to be just bland when I put because there's the flavor of all the meat in there. And now when I add it up to this, which already have a lot of flavor, then I'm adding another flavorful. Instead of just adding plain water, which is bland and boring, yeah. I put this liquid. And where I boil the meat anyway, I just added some vegetables and it becomes a good stuff. So, always think guys, when you're boiling and you want it to be a good stuff, you gotta put those vegetables that will add flavor to it. So now I put the liquid and you see just enough to cover the meat. You don't want it like overflowing there and or then it, it's gonna become like a stew, right? You want this is a stew. Dinoguan is a stew. So if you're doing a stew, 
We don't concentrate on liquid. We're gonna reduce it a bit, but we're not gonna overboil. So now we're gonna let it boil for another five minutes, and then we're gonna add the vegetable, and then the blood thing goes in. See you soon. <laughs> there you have a stripper. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Now I'm adding the sayori, which is really, if you ask a traditional Filipino folks, they will kill me for putting this. Why? Even so Raymond's good. grandpa there, he said, you know, God, it's all meat, you know. But hey, you could always break the trend. You put vegetable, it looks healthier, and it justifies the blood. <laughs> Vegetable in every way you cook. Just make sure that you put the right vegetable in there. You don't want to put like bacho in there or beans or any. You need some kind of hard vegetable. Potato maybe, you know. Taro maybe, you know. Don't be scared, man. Just go for it and experiment. You know? I mean, what could go wrong? You're the one who's going to eat it anyway. If it's bad, you eat it. If it's good, you eat it and enjoy it. So, yeah. You want to eat it and enjoy it, right? So, while you're eating, you're enjoying it. Taste the chili. Chili, chili, chili. It's scary, right? But really, this chili is not even hot. But it gives a lot of flavor to the dinner. I'm gonna break one. I want a little hotness there. But this chili is sweet, flavorful, and it makes the Nidugunan look good. See that? Now, it's becoming like a meal, right? That's it. Hot does it look scary anymore? Till yet. So we're gonna boil it for another two, three minutes. Let that vegetable cook a bit. And then we're gonna play with the blood, which is the last component of this dish. Let me tell you something. A lot of people are scared with all this blood. Da, 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 da. But hey, in our tradition, it's actually sacred to have this when you're cooking because you're giving a lot of respect to the animal that you just killed, right? You already killed the animal, so why waste it? The last, the least you could do is eat all that part, you know, because that animal had given his life for you to eat him, and then you're just gonna throw him for a waste. Hello. So <laughs> put some respect on it. Respect, respect. the blood. <laughs> put some respect, respect on my name. Ears. Respect on, the heart. Stop playing with my name. I ain't gonna say it no more. North America, they waste a lot of food here, man. That's why Asian people come here to educate them about eating good food and at the same time enjoying the food. No waste, a lot of respect, and it's really good. You know, you just have to know how to cook it. So if you want to know how to cook it, just ask me. <laughs> Go to our website www.foodtrip yeah yeah now it's the blood see watch when I'm putting it I'm first of all I'm gonna lower the heat so check out this heat from high I'm going to almost less than medium heat there I'm going to three actually alright the reason for that is that I want this now simmering simmering is the process of let it cook in a very low heat, right? Here's the blood. I'm putting it at the same time, I'm mixing it. Why? Because that's gonna prevent it from curdling. Curdling is when it becomes solid, right? You want that to... There you go. There's some curdled blood there, so I'm gonna try... You don't want cottage cheese. To just... Now, see that? Now, this is crucial, guys. The moment you put that blood, you're now gonna stay with it and give it some love and caring. Meaning, you're gonna have to watch it, make sure the blood doesn't curdle on you, and you're gonna have to keep mixing it while until it's finished. I'm gonna keep cooking this for another, I don't know, five minutes, maybe? Let's put it 10 minutes. I want that blood really cooked, you know? because uh, we're using blood. If you know how to cook it, it'll be safe. If not, it could be dangerous. I mean, blood is blood. It's bamba blood. Another 10 minutes of mixing. Anyway, we're in a very low heat here, simmering, so. 
You're not gonna get scared, it's gonna burn on you or anything. We really were just incorporating all that blood flavor to it, making sure it doesn't curdle, and making sure that you have a good result with your food. It's gonna go thick in a little bit. You see, that's what that blood does. It makes it thick, right? That's why if you put too much liquid on it, then you're gonna have a dino guan, which is like soup. So try to be careful when you add that liquid, just to cover the meat, just to cover the vegetable. Because when you add that blood, that will be your thickener. Team effort. This is like what? Blood stool? <laughs> He's taking a baon to go. So yeah, the this is, is called dinoguan, which is uh, which is good. <laughs> Especially, you know, after you smoke some weed. <laughs> Appetite? <laughs> you wouldn't notice it's uh, it's blood. <laughs> I told, I told, I, I, <laughs> that is taken. It tastes better when you chomp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding him. Yeah. <laughs> Go on to the max with puto. Hey, what are this egg looking? Black and white. Oh we call this good and bad. We call this yang. Yo, we call this puto. Puto. Like gay puto? puto. <laughs> or puta. Eh, in Spanish, um, puto is gay, man. So, yeah? Anyway, we, we have puto with Dino Guan. A gay with Dino Guan. Oh, no. no we're not. Uh, anyway. We're not I'm just kidding. gay or anything. No, but in the Philippines. Puto looks gay to me. In man. the Philippines, this is the combination of this yeah. dish. You've got to have. Too anemic. Puto yeah. with Dino Guan. With you know? cheese on top. It, like, it, it's just a so traditional. You know, it's good with rice and everything too, but having puto with it, man, that just just seals the deal, you know? So, <laughs> this is Dino Gohan. Hope you enjoy our show. Uh, hey, hey, me too. Time Wait, to let me say bye. Ah, um, mm. <laughs> blood. Hey. Bumba blood. <laughs> <laughs> no.